We're going to put the new FPV plane up in the air. Um, I haven't really done any updates or talked about this one yet. Um, this is a whole new build, uh, a whole new design. This is basically an upgrade from the blue one that I just built. Uh, this one has a 60 inch wingspan, uh, a 10 inch uh, cord. It's got a much bigger wing. Uh, it has um, almost 600 inches of wing area. So it's uh, going to handle a lot more weight uh, because of that i'm running i actually have two four cell 3300 milliamp batteries in the front here so we're gonna have double the flight capacity of blue thunder um, we also stole the motor and the prop from blue thunder um, to put on here so this thing it should have way more than enough power and with um with the whole new build and even with the two batteries we're only about uh, 175 to uh, 190 grams heavier than Blue Thunder was, which is pretty awesome because we're running two of the same batteries instead of just one. So I was able to uh, give it more wing area and uh, double the battery capacity. Um, the other thing about this plane is it has a whole flight uh, system. It has a flight controller, it has a ELRS, it has a GPS. Um, has returned to home. It's got a ton of features, way more stuff than we've ever had on any plane before. Um, and there's still some stuff I need to program. I've spent, I, I can't even remember, probably like four days, five days maybe, like full long days programming the flight controller, trying to get everything to work, update it. It's been kind of a nightmare and it's been a ton of work uh, to get it to this point to where I can just test it. Um, and we still have more work to do on uh, tuning and calibrating a few things. Um, but for now, today, we're going to throw it and see if it flies. And if it does fly good, then I'll probably spend a couple more days finishing programming everything that needs to be done. Um, finish setting up a few things in the controller. And then I'll do, I'm, I'm going to paint it um, and do some other stuff with this. I still have to put on the camera. Uh, I have some parts coming for that today. Uh, so I have to do that. Um, and then I'll go over the entire system, the entire electrical system, flight controller, and just everything with you guys. And then I'll have some reviews coming up as well with all that. But for now, we're going to chuck this thing up in the air. We have uh, the plane in horizon mode. We're running uh, iNav in this. Um, so we're going to have some auto auto leveling um, just to chuck it air in the air and see how it goes. And if it flies good, um, do a bunch more tuning and flying and uh, we'll see a whole bunch more of this plane. My hope is that this is going to give me at least 15 to 20 minutes of fly time, maybe more, we'll see how it goes. Um, and this will just be an awesome plane to fly and catch some really good views of the forest and the lakes and everything around here. Uh, but for now, we're going to check it up and see if it flies. Whoa, it's flying. So it looks, I mean, it's going nose up a little bit, but. There we go. That's the auto, auto stabilization, horizon mode. Hey. Wow, look at that thing go. So that's like, uh, that's about 50% throttle there. It's very quiet. Yeah, so I'm having it, putting it, in, I put it in auto tune mode. Doing great. This is taking very little throttle to fly. Yeah, let me hit 
hit the throttle, we got tons. Tons of power. So that's uh, auto leveling right there. Turn around, switch back into manual mode. We do have kind of drifting to the right a little bit, but it's still good. Freaking amazing. Nice slow roll rate. Nice and calm, kind of reserved, but very stable. Um, it flies amazing. It's got two batteries up front. So this thing's going to be able to fly for a long time. That's another thing we're going to test. Uh, we'll test fly times with both batteries. I'm going to guess because the wing loading is less in this plane. Um, and we have double the batteries and the same motor. I'm hoping that we should be able to around double the fly time as uh, Blue Thunder was. Uh, because we we did nine minutes nine minute flights with Blue Thunder, and uh, we came back with about forty percent battery left. So I think that it's totally possible that we can do eighteen minute flights um, pretty safely. Um, and I will know for sure. Of course, I have all that, all the voltage telemetry and everything is set up in the goggles. So I'll be able to see all that in real time and actually uh, figure out exactly where my throttle needs to be to give me the best fly times, all that stuff. I'll be figuring out in the near future. Um, and this thing is freaking awesome. This thing, this is a very, very good flying plane. Very good flying plane. So it does, I'm gonna have to do a little trimming on it because this is manual mode right here. Uh, and it tends to want to go nose up a little bit. Let's check out the roll rate in manual manual mode so it's a little faster. We have a ton of control. That was a full speed pass. So what do you think? That's fast. It's pretty fast. It's gotta be doing 60, 70. I think with Blue Thunder with the same, uh, the same prop and everything, similar weight, it was doing uh, like 75 with this prop, 73, something like that. So I'm gonna guess this thing uh, does at least 60, 65. Thing is awesome. Horizon mode seems to work well. As soon as you put it in it, it uh, limits bank angle. Um, it flies nice and flat. This will be really useful later on, uh, on during long flights. Just uh, kind of taking it easy and letting the plane take over. How long have we been recording now? Five minutes. See how it's slow. So let's see if we can get a little bit below 50% throttle here. Let's see how she does. As it slows down a little bit. Now I'll, I'll have um, throttle position and all that stuff in the goggles, and I'll really be able to fine tune this thing as far as uh, making it the most efficient possible. So 
we're about uh, say 45% throttle now. Flying fairly slow, but we're, we're maintaining altitude, it looks like. It looks like a little bit in the turns. But, you know, if I take it easy on the turns, we don't lose too much too quickly. Yeah, I would say that's our minimum. Minimum throttle. Let's we'll push it back up to 50. And look at that thing go. And we got tons of power if we want it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be an awesome platform. I can't believe we're running. We got two. 3300 milliamp four cells in here and it's flying great i can still fly at really low throttle it flies really smooth it floats really nice um we don't need a ton of power to make this thing fly because the wing loading is so low um it's just it's exactly what i was was hoping it would be and it's a pusher v-tail makes it awesome so fpv is going to be great with this uh, we're going to be able to put the camera up front with no obstruction by the propeller. Um, we're going to have some nice clear views. It's, it's going to be great. This is going to be an epic FPV plane. Let's go ahead and now that I know it, it basically flies perfectly. Uh, we'll probably probably bring it in here. It's like, how long have we been recording? Eight minutes. Okay. We'll probably bring it in and do our first landing and see how it does. We still have a lot of things to test out, like our fail safe, our return to home, uh, to figure out how that's gonna do. Okay. Yeah, return to home, I'm gonna have to tune uh, and test. I think I'm going to go around one more time. I'm going to lower the throttle uh, a little bit. Let's say 45% throttle. And we're going to see. Make a nice smooth landing. And this is just an awesome plane. I'm excited about this new plane because it's going to, it's going to open up FPV quite a bit as far as fly time. And just reliability, stability. Uh, Blue Thunder has been a great FPV plane, and I'll probably buy another camera just to put on that plane. But this, I think, is going to really uh, be our long-range plane. Man, look at that thing. Just just does so good. Look at that. Just the prop's down. not even spinning. Or it's spinning just a little bit. I think I'm going to bring it back around. Wow. I So that was no throttle the whole time it's coming down the road, and it's just floating. Oh, my goodness. This thing is just amazing. So I'm going to actually uh, cut throttle a little farther down. And I'm going to see if I can land it in front of us. That thing was just floating so good. It just kept on going. So what I'm going to try to do is bring it around. So we're cut throttle now. Or we're just going to float in and just see if we can make a nice smooth landing. Look at that thing. It's just amazing. Look at it. It's perfect. Look at it. Nice and level. Uh, a little rough there. Nice. But it was a good landing. Man, this thing is awesome.